Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Not born again, born from above. That's the subject of the day's Higher Things Video Short. Second Sunday in Lent gives us John 3 in the three-year series. Couldn't resist it because, well, it's John 3. Gives us Jesus and Nicodemus. Nick at night. Nick coming at night because, well, he's hiding. Doesn't want anybody to see. He comes up to Jesus with the question, you know, Jesus, you are a superstar. A YouTube sensation. Everybody digs you. And they see the things that you're doing and they know it's from God. You're the greatest. And Jesus cuts through it all with a simple sentence. Amen, amen, I say to you, unless one is born anothen, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Now, anothen, always, almost always, I would dare say always, 99% of the time. I, I'm only saying 99% because somebody's going to call me on it, but 99% of the time means from above. Ano thin. From ano above. In fact, later on in the chapter, in John 31, Jesus says, he who comes ano thin is above all. He who is of the earth belongs to the earth and speaks in an earthly way. He who comes from heaven is above all. Anathen there clearly means from above. It's in the same chapter, within the same sort of section. Maybe we should use it to help us. The only reason why anybody translates Anathen again is because Nicodemus doesn't get it. Nick at night says, well, how can I be born again when I'm old? Can I re-enter again my the, the, the womb of my um of my mama? And there he doesn't use anothen. He says he just talks about entering in the womb a second time. So what does it mean? Well, to be born from above is to be born in the waters of holy baptism, to be washed of water in the spirit, not two different baptisms or as or or coming out of the womb and then being washed. It means to be washed in water, to have Jesus delivered to you. That's the way you get the spirit in the water. The scriptures are filled with that. In Acts 2, uh, be baptized, you and your whole household, receive the Holy Spirit. Baptism delivers the Spirit. The Spirit works faith. But here it's enough to say, so, well, let's deal with this. When our friends say, have you been born again? The answer that a Lutheran should answer is, I was born from above in the waters of holy baptism. What date was that? Well, my the baptism date is for me, um, Cinco de Mayo, 1974. That tells you how old I am. Um, that's when I was born from above. That's where Jesus came to me in the water and the word. That's where faith was, was delivered to me. I think born for, uh, again gives a sort of active sort of thing that we're doing something that makes us uh, born again. Um, but I wouldn't let the guy who doesn't understand what's going on translates anathen for me. I'd let Jesus. Anathan means from above. To be born from above is to be born in Jesus. To be born in the one who came from heaven, who's above all. It means to be born by the in the one who God sent. The one that God loved. The, the, see, God loved the world this way. That's a whole different video short. Maybe next week. But God loved the world this way. He gave his only begotten son. That whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Anothen means to, be, to receive Jesus, the one who came in the water. And faith, which is given by the Holy Spirit, trusts that word of God in the water. And we're saved. 
Unless one is born of water and the spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Don't be marveling that I said you must be born from above. The wind blows where it wishes, and you hear its sound, but you do not know where it comes from. So it is with everyone who is born of the spirit. So to be born from above is to be born in the spirit, and that happens connected to the water. To be born of water and the spirit. Anathan means from above. To be born from above is to be born from the water flowing from his pierced side. To be born in the waters of holy baptism. When were you born from above? Check your baptismal day. You'll find it. But when I was a baby, I didn't believe. Well, that's a whole different video. All right? But here it's enough to say that Jesus says you must be born from above. That means born of water and the spirit, born in the waters of holy baptism, where you receive the spirit who worked the faith to trust that word of God, that Jesus, Calvary and Easter, in the water. I'm Pastor George Barkhart. This has been another Higher Things video short. <laughs>